Hello, welcome to this lesson. In this video, we are going to solve this question I have on the screen, which says that we should solve z to the power 7 minus 2iz to the power 4 minus iz to the power 3 minus 2 equals what? 0. Okay, so let's look at what we are going to do. So I have the equation to be z to the power 7 minus 2iz to the power 4 minus iz to the power 3 minus 2 equals 0. Okay, so the first thing I'll do is to do some factorization here. Okay, so let's look at what I will do. So I will enclose z to the power 7 minus 2 iz to the power 4 in one bracket. And then similarly, I will enclose iz to the power 3 minus 2 in one bracket. Okay, so for the first bracket, I will factor out z to the power 4. Okay, so I'm going to have z to the power 4 multiplying z to the power 3 minus 2i. That will be for the first bracket. And then for the second bracket, I will factor out i. Okay, so I'm going to have i here. And then in the bracket, I'm going to have z to the power 3. Okay, and then minus 2. Then I'll bring i here. So you realize that if I don't bring i here, okay, to the minus 2, you're going to get a different expression in the bracket. So I brought the i so that at the end you're going to have minus i multiplying minus 2i, then that will give us minus 2 as we have in the actual equation. So that's the reason why I brought this i here. Okay, so let's continue. So from here, I can write this equation as z to the power 4 minus i okay multiplying z to the power 3 minus 2i and this will be equal to what zero okay so what will happen is that you are going to find the solution to these two expressions in the brackets okay so first of all you are going to have z to the power 4 minus i to be equal to zero and then you are going to have z to the power 3 minus 2i equals what? 0. So you are going to find the roots of these two equations, okay? And that will be the solution to this uh, equation that you were given. So let's look at what you are going to do. Okay, so I'll name this as equation 1, and then I'll name this as equation 2. So I'm going to find all the roots to these two equations, okay? So for equation 1, we are going to have z to the power 4 equals i, right? And then that will be this much, z equals i to the power 1 over 4, okay? Which is the fourth root of what? i. So let's look at how you are going to find the fourth root of this complex number i. So in complex numbers, if you have a complex number z, okay? If you have a complex number z, and you want to find the nth root of this complex number. This is giving us the nth root of z, okay, equals the nth root of the modulus multiplying the exponent of theta, okay, plus 2 pi k, 2 pi k all over n i. So if you want to find the nth root of a complex number, you can use this formula here to do that. So let's look at how you are going to find the nth root of this complex number here. Okay, so we have the complex number to be uh, z, okay, we have z to be equal to i, and then you are supposed to find the fourth root of z, which will give us z equals i to the power 1 over 4, or the fourth root of what i, right? Okay, so in this case, you see that our n will be the 4, okay? So what we need is R, R, which is the modulus, and then the theta, which is the argument. So let's go ahead and then find the modulus and then the argument. So for this complex number, we only have I, okay, which means that the, the Y, the, the imaginary part will be one I, okay? So in all, we are going to have a complex number to be something like this, 0 plus 1i. 
So to find the modulus, that will be called the square root of 0 squared plus 1 squared, then that will give us what? 1. Okay, so for the argument, I will do it this way. If I plot this complex number, okay, let's see this is the real axis, and then this is the imaginary axis. So if I plot this complex number, it is going to lie on the imaginary axis, right? When I measure the angle on the row axis, that's the positive row axis, they're going to get 90 degrees. So this tells us that our theta will be 90 degrees, which is the same as pi on 2. So you're going to have theta to be equal to pi on 2. Okay, so now let's find the roots for this uh, complex number i. So you're supposed to find the fourth root of i, which means that you're going to have four roots, okay? So let's go what you are going to do. Okay, so for this formula here, the k here, okay, will be equal to 0, 1, 2, okay, all the way to n minus 1. Okay, so let's take note of this. So to find the four roots for this complex number i, we're going to have the first one to be z0, okay, then this should be equal to the fourth root of the modulus r, which is 1, right? So the fourth root of 1, which will be the same as 1, times e, the power theta, which is pi on 2, okay? So pi on 2 plus 2 pi, and then in this case, our k will be what? 0, okay? All divided by n, which is 4. And then I'll bring my i here. Okay, so when further simplify this, I'm going to have z0 to be equal to 1, okay? 1 multiplying into the power pi on 2, okay? And then for this side, we are going to have 0. So we're going to have pi on 2 plus 0, okay? All divided by 4, i, right? So when I do this, we're going to have e to the power pi on 8, i. So this will be the first root for this complex number i. So I'm going to do the same for the second root. So for that one, we're going to have z1, okay? And then that will be equal to the fourth root of 1. So multiplying e to the power pi on 2, okay, plus 2 pi, multiplying 1, okay, all divided by 4 i. So let's simplify this and see what you're going to get. You're going to have 1 multiplying e to the power, where you have pi on 2, okay, plus 2 pi, all divided by 4 i. So let's sum up what you have in the brackets. Okay, so in the bracket, you have pi on 2, okay, plus 2 pi, okay, and then all these are being divided by 4. So you're going to have z1, okay, to be equal to e to the power 5 over 8 pi i, okay. So that'll be the, the second root. So let's find the third and then the fourth. So let me free up some space. I take away all that I have here. Okay. Okay, so we are going to have Z2. Okay. So for Z2, we're going to have the fourth root of 1 multiplying e to the power pi on 2. Okay. Plus 2 pi multiplying 2 all over 4. Okay. I. So let's simplify this. You're going to have e to the power pi on 2, okay, plus. So for the for this term here, you're going to have 2 times 2, which will be 4 pi, and it, it being divided by 4 gives us pi. So you're going to have, um, let me let me do this way. So I'm going to have, I'm going to have the pi on 2 here being divided by 4, okay, and then plus pi. This is what you are going to have. And then bring my i here. So then you are going to have e to the power pi on 8, okay, plus pi. This is what you are going to have. And then I have my i here. So let's simplify that and see. So you are going to have pi on 8 plus pi, and then that gives us 9 over 8 pi. So you are going to have 
e to the power 9 over 8 pi then this will be my i so this will be the third root and then let's find for the fourth root also so for this one let me just write the one here okay then we have e to the power pi on 2 plus 2 pi multiplying 3 okay all divided by 4 then i have my i here okay so we are going to have this to be equal to e to the power pi on 2 okay plus 6 pi plus 6 pi okay all this being divided by 4 okay and i have my i here so let's simplify this and see what you are going to get you have pi on 2 plus 6 pi okay all being divided by 4 so that gives me 13 over 8 pi so i'm going to have the fourth root to be equal to e to the power 13 over 8 okay pi let me write this for 13 over 8 pi i so this will be the the fourth root for the first equation so i'm going to do the same for the second equation also so you can start by finding um, the first root the second root and then the third root then you compare your answers to the one i got so you can also further simplify the roots you got okay because you know that if i have e to the power if i have e to the power i theta okay i can write this as cosine of theta plus i sine of what theta right so you can use this to rewrite all the roots so that you can get them in standard form okay or in a plus ib form so let's look at the second equation also okay so for the second equation we have j to the power 3 okay because 2i this is what you are going to have okay so you are going to have j to be equal to 2i to the power 1 over 3 right so in this case our n will be equal to 3 and then you have to find our r okay which will be equal to the square root of 2 squared which will be the same as 2 okay so you know our n and then what our r so let's find our theta so in this case our theta will be pi on 2 again because if i plot 2 that's 2i it will be on the on the positive imaginary axis so our angle is going to be pi on 2 okay so let's go ahead and find the roots so we're going to have the first one to be z0 okay that would be equal to the cube root of 2 which i write as 2 to the power 1 over 3 okay this is the same as uh, me writing it as cube root of what 2 okay that's another way of writing it okay so 2 to the power 1 over 3 multiplying e to the power pi on 2 okay plus 2 pi and then our k in this case will be 0 okay all this divided by n which is 3 multiplying i okay so let's simplify this i'm going to have 2 to the power 1 over 3 okay multiplying e to the power pi on 2 okay plus 0 okay all this divided by what 3 okay so when you further simplify this i'm going to get 2 to the power 1 over 3 okay multiplying e to the power pi on 6 i okay so that's the first root for the second equation so for the second root i'm going to have 2 to the power 1 over 3 okay multiplying e to the power pi on 2 okay plus 2 pi multiplying 1 all this divided by 3 and then i'll bring my i okay so let's simplify this i'm going to have 2 to the power 1 over 3 multiplying e to the power pi on 2 okay plus 2 pi okay all divided by 3 then this will be 
multiplied by the i. So let's simplify this and see what you are going to get. So for the terms in the bracket, we have pi on 2 plus 2 pi, okay? And then we are dividing this by 3. So that gives us 5 over 6 pi. So we are going to have 2 to the power 1 over 3, multiplying e to the power 5 over 6 pi, okay? This is what you are going to get. Okay, so let's find the third root. You are going to have z2 to be equal to 2 to the power 1 over 3, multiplying e to the power pi on 2 plus 2 pi, multiplying 2, all divided by 3, and then being multiplied by i. So when you simplify this, you are going to get 2 to the power 1 over 3, multiplying e to the power pi on 2, okay, plus 4 pi, all being divided by 3, and let me write it 3 again, and multiplied by i. So let's rewrite this again. I'm going to get 2 to the power 1 over 3, okay, multiplying e to the power, and then let's add the terms in the bracket. So I'm going to have pi on 2 plus 4 pi, okay, divided by 3. And this will give me a value of 3 over 2 pi. So I'm going to have 3 over 2 pi i here. Okay. So like I said, you can rewrite this in the standard form. Okay. So let me do this for the last root so that you get what I mean. So we had a z2 to be equal to 2 to the power 1 over 3. Okay. Multiplying e to the power 3 over 2 pi i right so this will be the same as 2 to the power 1 over 3 okay multiplying the cosine of 3 over 2 pi okay plus i sine of 3 over 2 pi okay this is what i mean so let's simplify this and see what you get Okay, so I will punch the terms in the brackets first. So we have cosine of 3 over 2 pi. Cosine of 3 over 2 pi. Okay. And then that will give me 0. Okay, so we are going to have 2 to the power 1 over 3. Okay. Multiplying 0. Okay, and then plus. So let me do for the second one. So we have sine of 3 over 2 pi and then that gives me minus 1 so let me take away the plus and make it minus rather so we already have minus 1i okay so i can actually multiply this 2 to the power 1 over 3 times 0 will give us 0 so then you already have minus 2 to the power 1 over 3 i okay that will be the standard form of writing this so you can write this as 0 minus 2 to the power 1 over 3 I. So you can do same for all the other roots that we got. So then you see that this equation has seven roots in total, four for the first one and then three for the second one.